Touchdown, Wildcats! We love y'all, man, but it's y'all's time. Y'all work for this. Y'all belong in this shit. Yes! Yes! That's how you tackle! That's how you tackle! That's how you bring it! Off, but is sacked in the backfield. Cuts it back up, bye bye. and he is gone. Bye bye. This was our most prolific offense um, by a long shot. Rushed out to the left. Now a pass intercepted. He has got nothing but green grass. How about another Colton Lucian touchdown? Yeah, I, mean, I think this year was a journey. Um, you know, as a coach, you always know that every season there's going to be, you know, there's going to be, you know, trials and tribulations. You're going to face adversity. Coming into the season, I was a little worried about the offensive line and that our team wouldn't do as good as we did prior years. And I think our offensive line did probably one of the best years we've had. Last year we were all young and didn't know each other well, but this year we all grown up and matured and played as a whole instead of individual. We had had a pretty good uh, core group that came back from the previous year, sprinkled in a few uh, new faces to the lineup and, and everything like that. It still continued to grow uh, and get better. Had a lot of kids step up uh, when needed. Um, so the, the growth of the, of the team over the year was, was a fun process uh, to watch and to experience. As a team, uh, defensively, we, we played, we went through a really tough um, offensive, as far as against tough offenses late in the season. And that, that really puts um, a bind on a defense. Um, our offense did a great job keeping us in games. And I think you, got, you saw over the course of the year, we, we got better. And then adversity would show up again and we have to respond again. I feel like you know, this year was just an overall indicator of what you know, a group of resilient guys um, can do. Lockdown. Brandon Harper tries to make a few man misses and that's a nice tackle there from Tyson Benford. It's gonna be a quarterback keeper from Mars. He's got a lot of room ahead of him. Breaks a couple of tackles and he's taken down. Flushed out to the left, now a pass intercepted! That ball was intercepted by number 15, Ethan Shelton. And the pitch There's is Lucian. on the Lucian, right side, he's got room. Breaks the tackle, tackle. Go. to the five. 10, to the five, that is just oh, short boy. of the end zone. Mars on the keeper, left side, and he cuts it upfield to the center. 10, five, touchdown, Piedmont! What a run by Josh Mars. is the Thomas misdirection on the left side and he's tripped up short of the first down marker. Fisher looking to his left. Fisher is absolutely baptized. Goes through his progression. Gets stacked up at the line again. That's number 60, Talon Owen on the play. Fisher looks, checks down. Nice tackle made by Colton Lucian. Up the middle, a great play from number 69, Jordan Houston. Oh, 
Marsh back to pass. Wide open on the sideline. That pass is completed to Colton Lucian. He's down the sidelines to the 30, to the 25. Chucks the man at the 20, and he's out of bounds. When I got to that locker room after Noble, I saw and heard the right things. I saw I mean, a team that was very unified, that was very upset with uh, the way we had just played. And I knew in that moment that we were going to be fine. Playing here was super fun. You know, all the coaches I really enjoyed. You know, I got to, you know, I built a lot of friendships with those coaches, a lot of other kids. I got to beat people up, you know, and I got to get beat up as well. It was awesome. <laughs> My freshman year, I didn't really know what to do. It was kind of just a, I'm here and I don't really know how this works. And Donnie, luckily, he was a junior at the time. He took me and my friend um, Jacob England in and it was kind of like a mentor. Going to Piedmont I learned a lot from the coaches, the teachers, from the staff, my friends, uh, from going up as a little boy to a man and everything. Just the experience was amazing. Mostly just uh, I was happy that I never quit really. It was fun to keep in the sport, be with all my friends and just be a part of the program really. Lay down your life for the brother next to you. We a unit. Game starts and ends with us. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. If we dominate the line of scrimmage, we dominate the game. Let, let's, we'll ruin their, let's ruin their day. Let's make you have a terrible week. Let's make you have a terrible season. Yeah! Let's go! And off to the right side looking for a hole, and he is met right at the first down marker. Out of Woody! And it is a screen play, play on the right side that's sniffed out. Splits the defenders, he's got room. To the 40, to the 30, 20, 35, to the 30. Big gain on the play. Second and one turns into a gain of 20. Field and the handoff is to Wood, and he has got nothing but green grass in front of him. That's a Piedmont touchdown. It is pooched high. That's a live ball. You better do something with it. That's put by ball, and they pick it up. How about an extra position? Oh, my goodness. And the pitch to uh, Lucian on the right side. He's got room to the 40, to the 35 down the sideline, pushed out of bounds, and he is absolutely bottled up in the backfield, open field tackling for Mike Rocco. I'm here, I turn, I look, I see him, oh, it's just like a good Big fourth down coming. He is bottled up in the backfield. Turnover on down. Hand off on the right side. He's got room and a blocker. To the five, to the end zone, that's a touchdown. Wildcats! And the handoff is to Woods up the middle and he's got nothing but daylight 10, five touchdown! Fake handoff to Wood and the pitch to the right side, finding some room, and he bowls him over. And that was bad intentions for Ian Johnson. And the pitch is to the left side, and he's got room, little ju uh, jitterbug, to the 30 to 25. He gets to the 20, make him, uh, makes a move. And the handoff is to Nicholson, looking for room on the right side. Hole is plugged. Oh! Coach White took me in as a freshman. He saw something big in my eyes, and uh, he taught me a lot. He, he, he went D1, and he wanted me to go D1, but we had different plans. And uh, he just pushed me to the best ability I could. Uh, the coaches, when we first got here, treated us like family. Like They always had fun with us. They always were nice to us. They uh, talked to us after, asked us how our day was going. In the halls when they see us, they come and say hi. And you still like, got that family feel ever since the day I got here. We had always strove for brotherhood even before Coach Hall had gotten here. But once Coach Hall got here, it felt like we were much more of a family. Uh, defense Coach Holman was super awesome. I really enjoyed having him here, a really great coach. You know, I hate defense. I'm terrible at it. I can't do it. But, you know, he made me want to cry to do the best I can. And I got a lot better at it as the year went by. And he's a really big help. And it's more of a family, honestly. Like, I think of them as a lot closer than some relatives. I mean, I'm with them more time than some of my own family. And uh, they just, you can tell they love us, and they always want what's best for us. We 
far off. A line drive kick that takes a bounce and is then fielded at the 15 and bringing it up. And he's got a hold to the 30, makes a move to the 40. How about this for a start to the 50? He's got one man to beat. And he is brought down. Hand off this to Wood. Finds some room on the left side, and he's got some room to the 15. <laughs> Backpedaling to the seven-yard line. The handoff is to Wood, and he barrels his way in again for another Piedmont touchdown. Pitch is to the right side, looking for something happening. He's got room to the 30, going to the 40. 40, and he's pushed out at the 50-yard line. Handoff is to Robles, finds the outside, and here we go. Balls up to 20, and that is where Robles is brought down. It's hard to be a skill guy and run around with that much weight on it all the time. He's good. Handoff is up the middle. Takes a big hit in the hole. Putting a man in motion. Handoff up the middle. And then brought down by Cannon Wood. Cannon! Good! Looking to his left. Slings it out to the flat, to the running back. And that is a swarming defense for Piedmont. Hey, it is okay, all right? We didn't get a swap. It's hard to catch a pitch. Tuck it, and the guy's in your lap, okay? You're gonna be all right. Keep your head up. Looking to his left, looking to get something happen. Now under pressure, and there's Talon Owen. Hey, baby, T.O. Handoff is to the running back, and he's bottled up. Big Jordan Houston, nose tackle, got off his block. Playing football is fun. I mean, there was low points, but other than that, I was always having fun. Man, one of the coolest moments this year was uh, after I got hurt, I came to a practice, and I remember I came in a little late, and I come walking out of the indoor, and it's just snowing on the field, and there's Christmas music playing, <laughs> and it's just like the weirdest thing. You hear like pads hitting and like jingle bells, and it's snowing. Uh, we were all... Uh done with our workout one day and uh, go to Juicy J, broke it down on something I probably could not say. And uh, we had to run for it and that just like, everybody was laughing, but at the same time we had to run for it. And here we go. That's a live ball. And I gotta give it up to Tate Cardwell. That ball had some backspin on it. That was a perfectly placed pick. Houston making another move. Safety is looking for his ankles as Piedmont walks in for the touchdown. Handoff is to Wood. He's got room. Here we go. To the 40. Now crossing midfield to the 50. Got one man to beat. Trips up and he is tackled at the 30 yard line. Cannon Wood shot out of the cannon little bubble screen pass that is sniffed out by that defense. A beautiful play there from number 15, Ethan Shelton. If you see too much, you don't see it all. If you see a little, it'll take you to the play, I promise you. It will take you to the play. Jen Robles bounces off a would-be tackler, makes a move, and here we go. To the 40, to the 30, there's no one that's going to catch him. That is uh, Israel Robles with the 50-plus yard touchdown. And kicked deep again, and the uh, kick is muffed, but picked up uh, crossing the 10-yard line, and he is wiped off of the earth at the 15-yard line. Mars back to pass, looking left, throwing left, play action pass, looking to get something down the field, rolling left, throwing Wind left, up. and that is a Mar Josh Mars passing touchdown. Kick is off, fielded at the one yard line. And once again, the special teams all of a sudden, ball on the field. Piedmont Wildcat offense, get your helmets back on. You're needed once again. Bounces outside and Cannon Wood uh, decides that uh, he has gone far enough. Uh, 
a broken play, but Mars goes ahead and uh, keeps it, takes it up the middle, and trots right into the end zone for another touchdown. off is the guy your left side big hole and he is in the touchdown and even the b squad starting to get some uh, some taste as well hey let's put the, let's put our foot on their throat let's kill him hey brother on three one two three four Graham on the keeper slips and falls and he is eaten up Hale Kaufman Pitch outside, Anglin has an angle, crosses the 50, enough for the first down, still going, still churning. He gets about five yards after the point of contact. And the handoff is to Robles, cuts it back in, and he just tips toes his way into the end zone. Graham keeps it and wishes that he hadn't because Cannon Wood slung him down looking to get past Talon Owens in the backfield and brings him down for a huge loss. Handoff is the field and he is stood up by that Piedmont defense. Field Mars keeps it on the option, has room on the right side. Here we go, to the 10, five, that's a, ah, out of bounds at the two yard line. Fourth down, that's his second touchdown of the night. Mars got room on the right side, finds his block, and he's got a, a, a blocker behind them and a convoy, crosses the 50 into <laughs> Spartan territory. Uh, pitches to Houston, and he's got room on the left side get to the there, 10. Get there, get there, get needs there, the corner, there, dives there. for the oh end zone, gosh. and pushed out of bounds at the one yard line. Anglin lowers his shoulder for the touchdown. Mars to take the snap and then finds his way. Left side, Josh Mars touchdown. Pitch to the left side. That, and he's got room and blockers. Here we go to the 30. That's the 20 10 house call touchdown. That's the uh, Tyson Pinford. Houston on the right side. Let's get him a touchdown. Let's get him a touchdown. Taking people with him all the way inside the five to the, let's call it, three yard line. The handoff is to Houston, finishing what he started. That is a Piedmont touchdown. Hang half a hundred on him. Wood with the handoff left side, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, breaks three tackles, breaks into the end zone. Say that's a nice game. We gotta wrap up. <laughs> what did you feel about the game tonight? I already answered that it was amazing. Okay. What'd you feel about the game? How many times do we have to answer how I felt about the game? Hi, Joey. How are you about tonight's game? Can you just call me Joey? No. Joey. Yes, you Gag reel, right here. Is the mic working? He's going to have to bleep me out of everything I say, anyways. You got like John Randall from the Minnesota Vikings. You got Reggie White. You guys don't even know who that those guys are. Take my hand. Go, 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 go! That's a hole on that side! That's a hole! He got his whole jersey! Who do you do? What? I didn't touch nobody! What is he doing? All right, here we go, boys. We're gonna get right down to it. Let's go be physical out there, boys. Let's go, let's go. Hey, that's pretty good. So, my uh, junior year, there was this kid who played on our team who was uh, a goofy character, and uh, he just, we were out like doing set rec on defense, and he was a linebacker, and he's supposed to be in a certain spot. I don't know, I'll play D-line, but he just couldn't get there, and it was just the most basic position you have to be in as a linebacker, and he just would not figure it out. And Coach Morrison just got so angry. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen Coach Morrison get that mad. He was kicking over the cans, he threw down his hat, his book, Anything, his whistle, anything he can find, he threw it down, and he just screams his kid's name. Dad Gummit, it's week seven! Dad Gummit! Dad Gummit! And then my senior year, he got all mad, and I said, man, we need to have like a Dad Gummit counter scale. So I had the Dad Gummit-o-meter. <laughs> Come free! Yes! Oh, Dad Gummit! 
Dad, gum it! Dad, gum it! Get him down! Dad, gum it! Hold on! Dad, gum it! Dude, your fly's over, okay? No, it's not. <laughs> Damn! Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Emotional, damn it! The kick is up. And... It's good. Yellow is not your color. Yellow is nobody's color. I bet I pull it off. Oh come on! I bet I. Hey, let's go, man. Them Liberace gloves. Let's go, white chocolate. Let's go, Shrek. Wow! 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 Job. I'm about to insult you in front of all these people, and I won't feel bad about Lose it. Lose your job! After high school, you guys will be chicken farmers. Hey, do you think they hire somebody to come play those, or they teach that in their music class? They're older guys. Nobody, nobody knows how to play those anymore. John Jesse! Oh, they're out there, they're out there, they're out there. How you doing, Nathaniel? Have you ever noticed that, you know, corners, corners are usually the most talkative yeah. on field, not our corners. No. We're the mind brothers. <laughs> we, got, we got Mickey and Jerry. We need your help. This is JoJo Ramsey's defensive debut. I, know, I knew Coach Hatfield really well because my brother was super close to him whenever he played. So coming in my freshman year, I was like the perfect person for Coach Hat to bully. Another dive play, shocker. That's a good tackle there. Oh, Joe Ramsey gets his head and helmet in the play, looks to the sideline looking for affirmation. Hands on hips. Two plays in, already tired. Coach Hat gets mad whenever I do well. It's a thing. <laughs> This is the second best looking guy on staff, besides Dillard. Dillard, yeah. definitely Dillard. I said this is the second best looking guy on the staff besides me. Run up the score. Run up the score. I'm Kel Kaufman, and I want to thank God, my family, and my coaches, and Ricky Bobby. Static stretching. <laughs> Old school. Hi, my name is Brady Tabor. Uh, I would like to thank God, my mom, my dad, and my four sisters. I would also like to thank Dr. Pepper for sponsoring my athletic ability all these years. <laughs> power, oh, little power screen. Nice little jump off. Ethan Shelton flies in, whirly birds that boy, and says, sit down, young man. You're shorter than I am. My favorite high school memory is whenever Jordan Fuston broke the ping pong table and we ended up blaming Butler. No! <laughs> we get, that, we get dubs. We get dubs. Stop it. Get some help. And off left side. The number changed, but the name is the same. That's the Talon Owen. And Mars looking for the end zone. He finds it easily. Touchdown, Wildcats. The handoff is to that back. Does not have his helmet on anymore. Oh boy, two five. Once again, this defense 
disrupting in the backfield. That Colt is Lucian. number one, Colt Lucian. Needed six, got 20. And Mars looking to pass left side, and he throws a dart, stops Woo! on a dime, 50. Here we go, 45, it's a foot race to the 40. And how about that, Jaden Houston? Pitch to Houston on the right side. Gets to the sideline, out of bounds at the five yard line. Now option for Mars, and he gets to the two, to the one. That is a touchdown. Designed run play, strong out, and he is gobbled up for a huge loss. Here is that pass, it's a wheel route, and he is wide open, Go. catches. Go, Lucian. Lucian makes a Go, move, Lucian. gets him on Go, stage. Lucian. Five, Go, Lucian. dives for oh, the end zone, and just oh. pushed out. Off Wood, right side, big hole, and Giant he's got room, and that is a Cannon Wood touchdown. How about all that? Two plays and a touchdown. Looking for some room on the right side, and he is corralled for a loss of two on the play. Looking to make something happen. Ooh. Did not see the gutter coming around. Jaden Fuston on the sack. Low snap bobbled, and here we go in busted play. Here is the punter, and he has a little bit of a crease, and he Woo! is, oh, fumble on the play, and Down it is going. recovered. Robles in the backfield right side, and he's got a big hole. How about a house call for Izzy Robles? And this is at this point, they are just able to name the score. Handoff is to Robles, breaks the right side, Bye -bye. and it's a foot race. Oh, Dive yeah. in, 20, 10. The back judge is the only one who can make a play. Touchdown, Wildcats! Going to his right and intercepted once again. Grant Myatt, the junior, getting into the turnover game. Right side, Go getting blue. back to the Go right blue. Of, uh, right at line Go of blue. scrimmage to the 30, 25 yard line. Well, it was my seventh play, which I can't stop getting crap about. <laughs> but uh, I was out there, and then I took a helmet to the back of my knee. It was against Lot Nike. And then my kneecap dislocated, tore my MCL a little bit, and then I was done. My whole career is, like, gone right there. I think whenever it's just you have to realize it's, like, it's coming to the end already. You got cut a little short, but, you know, I still had, like, three and a half years of football. So, I mean, I'm more than happy with that. We go where you lead us. You got me? Tell these jokes to catch the ball tonight. <laughs> if we throw it. And off right side, Cannon Wood goes in untouched for the Wildcat touchdown. Handoff is to that back. Does it back up the middle, and he has stood up for no. In fact, a loss of one. Handoff is to Izzy, right side again, just running straight through people. Gain of 20 on the play. There he goes. To Colton Lucian, left side, and he's got blockers. If you can make the make that turn, Woo. and he Woo. is still carrying them. A gain of about 25. <laughs> touchdown, Cannon Wood on the handoff. Second touchdown run of the night for Cannon. Run! Yes! Left side in a big hole. Robles gets the first down and Moore crosses Woo. the 30. Inside the 30 where he's knocked out of bounds. And handoff up the middle. But that front four of that defense once again stands tall. Snap down, kick is up, and it, it is, is right good. down Broadway. As the clock reads the triple zeros, the handoff to the right side. This Piedmont defense absolutely swarming to the football. The handoff is to Robles, left side, shakes off a tackle, puts his head down, and that's a touchdown! Piedmont, Izzy Robles, with his second touchdown of the evening. Campbell looking to pass under pressure, and he is sacked! Campbell under pressure again, and that's where he'll be sacked again. Yeah, that's Ryder Jones. Give me some! Give me some! That was right! 
pitch is to the left side, Lucian, and he's got room and blockers down the sideline, down to the 20 yard line, and that is where he is pushed out of bounds. Pitch is to number nine, and that is a touchdown, Ian Johnson. There's a lot of moments, but I'm just going to have to say it. locker room talks with uh, all the boys in my aisle. Just, I'll never forget that. All the screaming and the yelling and the fighting that goes on every single day. I just love messing with people. <laughs> I think it's one of the things I'm going to miss. You know, I go out there on the football field and I'm going to like walk up to someone I have to hit. I'm just like, you smell bad or your shoes are ugly. You know, I just like just messing with people and just, you know, joking around. I think it's really funny whenever it's like, you know, you're at a practice and everything's supposed to be really serious and then I'm not serious. <laughs> I just something I will really miss is just like, I don't know, just having an attitude to go mess around and have fun, you know, and work hard. It's probably will be the biggest thing I'll miss. I think it's just gonna be the getting done with school and coming out here and seeing all the guys and the coaches and just having a good practice and then going to play on Fridays and running out of the tunnel. Stride it out, gentlemen, stride it out! Hi, right, you look good today, Juicy. You look good. Let's go, big dog. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go get that dove. Has room on the go. left side to the 50, down to the 45, into Irish ter territory. First down. Hand off is to Wood. Big hole, and he's got room. Here we go, gets all the penalty yardage back, and then some first down, Piedmont. Our screen pass completed to Lucian. Makes it a touchdown, Piedmont! Oh my goodness, what a move he just put on him. Handoff is to Shadid as he's patiently looking for something and patience wears thin as this Piedmont defense swallows him up for a loss of two. Shadid gets back to just about Woo! the original <laughs> line of scrimmage. Here is the blitz and here comes pressure rolling to his Tyson. right. Get it, Tyson. Rolling, and Tyson. he is sacked! Oh my goodness, this Piedmont defense has come to play. That's it! There we go! Good job, Chase Duke! Handoff is to Houston right side. He's got room. Breaks a tackle. It's a tip. It's a foot race to the five five. And it's a touchdown, Piedmont! Good job! Good kick! Seven. Go get it! Get it! Get it! Yes! That's it! That's it! That's it! Can't stand straight up, right? We gotta create nothing. Got me? Yes, sir. Two things. Jump up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Crazy in the backfield gets rocked. Yeah, Ryder Jones coming in off that left side. And right side, go. here we go. Houston has some room. Big chunk play for Piedmont. That's 20 yard gain. First down, bubble screen that is sniffed out by Piedmont's defense. Here is the handoff and Wood continues to play. It's great to tackle all the way down to the 25 to the 20. Brought down exactly at the 20 yard line. Handoff is to Wood, steps to forward it. and touchdown Piedmont, Conan Wood. The Quazy on the RPO. Cannon Wood blows that design run up. Mars looking to pass, and it is Kale. completed right there. That's Kale Kaufman Sr. The handoff is to Izzy, and then Izzy is then pushed forward. Touchdown, Izzy Robus. <laughs> I just say Midwest City because it was just a different atmosphere. The snow game, it's I've never played in a snow game, so it's it was just a crazy thing. It was it was a one in a lifetime experience. At the beginning of the game when it was coming down it was fun. Like uh I mean it was kinda hard to see. You couldn't even see the sidelines at one point. It was it was crazy. It was complete wide out conditions out there at one point. Like you could barely even see in front of you. It was insane. Our offense running the ball put 60 points up on the board. It was a great game in the snow. Had fun. I think they were they were tired about tired of playing in 
any conditions at about second quarter after what we did to them. And he's got a hole in the room to the 40. It's a foot race from there. 20, 10, touchdown, Piedmont. 10 and 1, big time play. Shotgun, and it is a quarterback keeper designed run. Bobbled up and sniffed up by that Piedmont defense. Handoff is the Robles. He's got room on the right side, and now it's a foot race again. Here we go to the 20, 10, 5, and touchdown, Piedmont. This is looking to turn into a good old snow shootout here in Midwest City. Handoff is to Robles. He's got a hole, and there is nobody that's going to catch him unless he has ice skates. That is all the way. House call, Izzy Robles. Yeah, That's 90 yards on two touchdown runs. Two-point conversion. Toss out to Lucian. Finds the end zone. And the handoff is up the middle. Big hit. Handoff is to Laviolette. Has, gets away with a hold. Oh, my goodness. What a hit by Cannon Wood. Laviolette took maybe one of the hardest hits I've ever seen. Good kick, hit right up the middle, fielded by the shortstop. Number 26, Grant Myatt, that was a beautiful play. And it handoff is to Lucian, Lucian left, left side. side, and getting down, makes a move up to the field, and that is a Lucian touchdown. What a move in the snow. Hard, uh, fake handoff to Wood, makes a move, juice the defensive end, gone. left side, and he is pushed out of bounds right at the five yard line. Here comes the two-point play. How about Motor over there? Jacob Anglin rides him all the way out of bounds. Design ran from Mars as he uh, hurdles the guy to the 20-yard line. Has a called run. Stretches his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Mars. And that is the third one for him of the evening. And off to Laviolette as a full slew of tacklers led by Anglin and Wood. Cannon Wood uh, has told everyone that will be enough of that. Design run for Mars, looking to take the convoy, and there he goes to the 20, to the 10. Josh Mars, how about the <laughs> slide into second, stealing the, ten, the base and the touchdown <laughs> to LaViolette as he is stuffed in the backfield. Big broken hearty. <laughs> that was man. That was man tackle. <laughs> We was projected to lose. We were projected to lose. 35-29. We're a four seed. Score The one seed is crazy. Knocked him out first. We scored 60. We didn't throw it not one time. And the flex bone don't work. The one seed is the one seed of the tournament. What they talking about? They play tomorrow. They basketball talk. Hey, not they lost. Hey, they better be some great hoopers. One for me personally um, was Mars's touchdown run, kind of at the end, his last one at Midwest City. His run, baseball slide into the end zone, kind of sticks out to me just because, you know, football is, is competitive. We're all competitors. We all want to win. We all want to take the game seriously. Um, and execute and do all that stuff. But for that, that one moment, you got to see the, the pure joy out of a sport that you don't get to see that often. You know, it wasn't grandstanding or anything. It's a kid saying, hey, I'm playing a playoff game in the snow. I'm gonna score here. I'm just gonna have a little fun with it. And to me, that one sticks out the most for me, just, just because of the pure, just playing a game and having fun. Looking to 
pass, and it is caught. Touchdown, Piedmont. That is Lucian, and he has got nothing but green grass. It's a foot race. He's got an angle. Can he make it all the way? He dived, and touchdown, Piedmont. It is a pitch left side and nothing but green grass in front of him. How about another Colton Lucian touchdown? off the wood getting through dives for the end zone gonna be called down right at the one All right, here we go left side for wood cannon he dives for the end zone and cannon wood touchdown squib kick bounces off of McAllister Buffalo scum for the ball did Piedmont get yeah, a free possession and they, they absolutely it. did Snap, and here is Mars on the keeper, and he's got room up the middle. Big stiff arm. How about a 20 plus yard carry to start this possession? Handoff is to Izzy. Bounces left side, lowers his shoulder, and tackled at the one yard line. And it is a keeper. Mars Touchdown. lowers his shoulder. There is the signal. Big hit right there. Yeah, that's Brogan Hardy right there. Handoff is the ball. He's met in the backfield in a full swarm of cats. Tackles him for a loss. Right back to pass, looking to his left and is completed. Down to the 2015. Cole Hoffman. Hand is to Izzy, lowers his shoulder, falls forward, touchdown. Izzy Robles, he's not done yet tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we, we ran for 4,457 yards. We averaged 371 a game rushing, um, 53 rushing touchdowns. We had 5,000 yards of total offense on the season. And so j just looking at our stats on paper compared to, you know, the tw uh, 21 team, the 20 team, the 19 semifinal team, this was our most prolific offense um, by a long shot. And I think it is a testament to our system. It's also a testament to our kids, um, our coaches. Um, I think a lot of people have been involved in getting us to this point. Um, and it definitely has proven that, you know, that the flexible on offense is a viable offense and, and Piedmont can run it very, very well. And, and it fits us and it fits, it fits our kids. Um, and our coaches are really good at coaching it. Pitches to his left, he's got room. Here we go, 30 to 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, here we go, to the 40. To the 30, he's got room and an angle, 20, 10. Let's go to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. Handoff is to Wood, left side, leads his blocker, runs over a guy, runs over another guy, runs over the back judge, runs over everyone. Back to pass, looking to his left, as a man, and it is completed! Oh. And Bobbles and completes it again! How about two catches in one? Shotgun formation. Oh. Bad snap picked up by Mars, tosses it up, and oh. Oh. my conclusion! <laughs> Robles on the right side, lowers his shoulder, bowls a guy over, bowls another guy over, to the 5, 10, touchdown, Wildcats! That's the backbreaker.
handoff on the right side. He's got room and a blocker. To the five, to the end zone, that's a touchdown! Wildcats, Jaden Houston. Bumble snap and fielded Just by go. the kicker. And here Just we go. go. Is this a two point play? How about the accidental two point play? I'll take it. The handoff is to that back. Does not have his helmet on anymore. Looking for a man, has a man down the seam. Interception! Returning the interception to the 30, has a blocker, cross the fence, cuts up field, and he is tackled in Spartan territory. Hey, these these seniors this year have a have a, a place in my heart. Um, they're always going to be special because they're they're our first you know fully complete class. It's been good. I've got to know a lot of them very very well, and playing from seventh grade middle school ball up to high school is way different. We've all grown. You see them grow up. You see them you know they're this this tall, and all of a sudden they're they're growing into men that are contributing. Um, that's what I think the biggest thing with football is is football helps build men. Us coming into high school, there was probably 20, 25 of us. And then obviously uh, it was whoever stayed. I mean, and there's, now there's 11. And it's just, I feel like it brought us closer together being one of the smaller senior classes. And it's just a great bond that we all have. They bought in uh, to, to Piedmont football uh, from the get-go. A lot of these seniors um, with, with backup roles have still gave everything they had for this year. And I think that that's important to see that they, they still gave effort, they still pushed to, to, to see a successful team. I don't think I'll ever forget some of the times at senior dinners with uh, the friends I've made over the years. I mean, They're going to walk out of here um, you know, with four career playoff victories and a four and four playoff record and they're, you know, they're leaving behind a streak of, of you know, what's currently five consecutive playoff appearances at Piedmont. Just hanging out with them, enjoying the time at practice, and then uh, even out, outside of stuff, seeing them in the halls, hanging out with them, having them in class. It's just like, they're your brothers, so you see them as family whenever you see them. I'm living right here and now, and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening Yeah, I'm listening I feel the freedom inside Come on, let's go for a ride I finally opened my eyes And I can see it so clearly So clearly Life is but a dream Isn't it amazing?
remember forever That life is but a dream Isn't it amazing? Oh, life can be amazing Oh, I feel my heart be racing I'll fly It's only ever higher I can light my inner fire And then we'll see what happens now What happens now And then we'll see what happens now What happens now That's what happens now now three two one